David here for Full Time Devils, where United have just beaten Wigan 2 1 in the FA Youth Cup quarterfinals. What can I say? Pretty good game, actually. Wigan um, did well to get a goal, pretty good strike, but United were too much for them, really. Shoulder short tyre in the first half, great goal, well worked goal um, from Satana and a bit of Wellens. Played the ball to him, he took it on his right foot and smashed it home. Second half, simple simple goal really, Ben Hockenhull heads it forward, um, goes to Deji Satana, he's just too quick and too strong, powers it past the defender and goes one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and blasts it for 2-1 and like I say, all in all, brilliant result, it's going to be tough from now on though, there's only two games left in the tournament, the semi-final and the final, um, we've been drawn against Chelsea away for the semi-final, just over one leg, so it's going to be difficult, it looks like it's going to be at Stamford Bridge and Chelsea needs to be recognised as one of the best, better teams in the youth, you know, in the youth system. They've won the competition five five years in a row, and um, last season we obviously beat them, but that was a bit of a fluke, really. I think we played brilliantly for that game, but they probably deserve to to go through, and the, they're playing brilliantly this season. It's a bit of a funny one. I was talking about this in the stadium. This team probably isn't as good as last year. But we only got through to the fourth round last year and now we're through to the semi-final. If you look at the players individually, for me, they're not as good, but they seem to be doing it. And at the end of the day, that just shows you all about football and not might not necessarily be about the players, it's about the team. And this team's just been brilliant. Not necessarily in the league, but this cup run, they've just been doing it. Um, big, big shout again, I've said this last time, to Ted and Menge at the you know, centre-back, captain, 17, and he's just... He's, he looks too good for the under 18s. He, sometimes he looks too good for the under 23s, and he just looks like a superstar in the making. I said it, I said it last time. He looks like a future United captain, a future England captain, and every time I see him, it's just the same. I'm just, I'm just impressed with him every time. He's heading, he's clearing, he's just comfortable on the ball, and when when he needs to panic, he just puts his foot, foot through it, and it's just unreal. And it's only only, only going to get better when he's playing around better players. But all in all, super happy with the result two games left hope United can do it but who knows it's going to be a tough one at Chelsea All right, outside Old Trafford with John John we've just gone through to the semi-finals for the first time in quite a few years um, decent performance what do you think of that today mate? Yeah it was an excellent result like you say he's uh, got to get back into the semi-final of this competition so but yeah it was a tough game uh, you know it was a, a decent performance there from Wigan got some good players um, but uh, yeah you know, we managed to hang on in the end Talking of um, good players, the centre back for there, Carragher, familiar name to most, um, son of Jamie Carragher. How do you think he did? Yeah, I thought he did all right. Uh, he got a bit of abuse off the fans, obviously. That, that that's a given. Uh, I believe he was there tonight as well with the Wigan fans, uh, which is nice. So uh, yeah, it's uh, like I say, they got they got some half decent players there. So uh, they were they weren't easy. Uh, so it was a really really big result. I'm happy. I'm happy we're through. So obviously Dylan Hugerworth was injured, the striker. Yeah, I think he got injured last round. It was that a blessing in disguise for someone like Deji Sasana. He finally can express himself now and he showed today his pace and what he can do with his pace. He got his goal, it was just a ball over the top and he's, he won it because of his pace and his strength. Yeah, definitely. He took it. I know uh, Alex gave him man of the match last time. It's possibly Ted, but it, I think he was right. He, he, he was certainly man of the match tonight. He was unlucky. He could have got another one. It looked easier to miss it, to, harder to miss, sorry. Uh, but uh, yeah, he could have come uh, away with the brace. But I thought he's, he's took his chance really well there. I like him. He's exciting. He's raw. You know, he's fast. He's tricky. No, I, I do. It's uh, he's good. Yeah, putting a good shift today. It's, uh, it's pleasing. Someone you mentioned there again, and uh, I mention him all the time when I go to these academy games. And look, for me, he looks far too good for this, even though he's 17. Ted and Menge, talk to me about him. Absolutely solid again tonight. So, and he looked like he might have, I uh, don't know if it was a, a muscle sprain or something or cramp. Oh. Uh, he looked, no, he got um, elbowed in the face. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, he seemed to be hobbling a bit, but uh, yeah, absolutely immense. He, he just a, a, an absolute natural leader there. Well, I thought even Ben Hockenhull alongside him, you know, absolutely commanding, and Reese, uh, another solid performance there, you know, especially when we were uh, hanging on a little bit there towards the end, they did really well. The ironic thing really is the past two, two seasons or so, we've had a much better team. You know, the players involved, Brandon Williams, Garner, Levitt, Mason Greenwood, but the furthest they got was the fourth round, and then this team, you, you wouldn't necessarily say the players were better than them, but they just, as a unit, seem to be progressing better. 
Yeah, I think uh, you've hit the nail on the head there. Like you say, uh, individually, uh, we, we probably have better, better sides. But as, as a collective, they seem to really work, to, re work well. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, uh, manager again, he's got a good line-up there. Uh, I think it was pretty similar to the previous game. I think it was only Dylan and maybe one of the chains, possibly. I'd have to have a look at the team sheet. But, uh, yeah, you know, it seems to be a good unit there. Everyone seems to know their position and what and the role and what they're doing. Uh, yeah, and I thought it was really good. Happy. It's only two games left to, you know, to lift the trophy. We've got a tricky away to semi-final now to Chelsea. Only one leg, and like a couple of years ago, where it used to be home and away, it's just the away leg now. People need to realise that Chelsea is still a decent team. They've won, I think, five in a row youth cups. Obviously, we knocked them out last year, but they're still a decent unit. How do you think we're going to fare against them? Yeah, it's going to again be a really, really good test. Uh, like I said, I didn't realise uh, I had to check with you before if it was um, two legged again, but it is it's straight knockout. So we've got nothing to lose. Hopefully, we can go to the bridge. I'm sure we'll take a few hundred. I know me and Alex will be there, so we're uh, cheering them on. So hopefully, we can put in a good performance like we have done. Uh, and hopefully progress to that final. The final, once again, is one-legged. It used to be home and away. Now it's used to look at the draw. And if we do get to that final, we're going to be playing in an away leg and the away team's going to be at home. Do you think that's fair? Or do you think it should be at a neutral ground now? Yeah, that's. Uh, I didn't realise that. Yeah, it should be at a neutral ground for me. So, um, so it will be the away team that's... Uh, yeah, I think last season City played the semi-final and the final both at their ground. All oh, right. Yeah, that and that's, uh, to me, an unfair advantage. It should really... You know, a final's the final. It should be really played at a neutral venue. If it's not going to be too legged like it used to be, then, yeah, by all means, it, should be, uh, it, should, it shouldn't be at either side. It shouldn't give either side an advantage, in my opinion. Right, you said dead G man of the match. I'm going to turn to Alex now. Alex, there's a big question. Man of the match for you. Hmm. Come on. Uh, 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 you, you said dead G to yeah, me, so you got yeah, used to it uh, now. No. Ted played well. Uh, I, thought, I thought Reese. Reese Devine at, at left back. Yeah. yeah, I thought he did pretty well as well. Uh, so, solid. Solid. Cheers, Al. Right, here with Ian and all his mates. What do you think of that game today, mate? Fantastic game today, mate. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Absolutely great game. Tenen Mengi, no, top, player. Ten top, top player. player. Top player. Top player. Top, 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 top center back. No one, one went through Tenen Mengi. Class, one every head though, and that's our Tenen. <laughs> that's that's him. Don't forget the name Tenen Mengi, yeah? yeah. Is it, is it how, long, how long till he's off to the first team, then? Oh, mate. Uh, the gone. Not long, not long, not long now. Got Chelsea away next round semi-final and then to the final if we can make it yeah. True, that team's good enough to win it 100% yeah, 100%, 100%. 100%. I believe in them million percent if they don't win then they can give me a million pounds isn't it? <laughs> um, Shola he got the first goal pretty decent goal good, good play and then um, who got the second I can't remember now Deji Deji got the second what do you think of his pace and we're just oh, talking about a quick guy from, he's a quick bro he's a quick Quick geezer. Talking about earlier, he's basically in the team because of Dylan Hugerworth's injury. Is that a blessing in disguise or would you like to see Dylan back? Uh, nah, it's a blessing. No, 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 it's a blessing. Yeah. Let, 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 let Deji stay in it, you know what I'm saying? What about that show McGeek though, am I right? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> for Wigan, am I right? Good goal, gotta give it that. He is a player, him left, right, bang, bang, finishes. Come on, yeah. he's on the side. I think this is a Ted and Mengi fan club though. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, Right, so is he man of the match for you then, Tedden? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100% agree with you. Anyway, thanks for talking to us, everyone. Thank you.